welcome back guys it's time we head back to talk to Val I know I can still go back and attack Thunder Jaw but I would prefer going back to Val and talk what it is this is gonna be interesting Aloy. I tried, but it's impossible. I don't think anything will convince her to go. We don't have a choice. Good luck. Beta, you have to come with us. It's the only way. It's one mission. The most important one. We need you. Tell me why you won't go. What if they... What if they take me back, alone, in a cell again? A slave. Forever. Laurel and I will be at Gemini too. I'll protect you. As soon as we get Hephaestus, we'll come straight back here. The Zeniths aren't going to find us. You don't have to be afraid. No! You can't protect me! Nothing can protect me from them! I told you from the beginning, we'll never beat them! It's hopeless! Beta... Leave me alone! You don't understand! You're right. I don't understand. We have the same genes, the same mind, the same heart. So why can't you find the strength to do what has to be done? Like Elizabeth would. Don't you think I've thought about that? I don't know what piece of Elizabeth I'm missing. I don't know what you have that I don't. I look through all the data from your focus. You were raised as an outcast, shunned, and isolated just like me, so what's the difference? What's my defect? an intense conversation with them. you, trained you, but he was never warm or loving. The day he died, the day he gave you that charm, he was going to abandon you. He wanted me to embrace the tribe. But then he gave his life for mine. He loved me in his own way. And that was enough. What did he feel like? It was like... Having a strength that was always there. It's still there. Even now I hear him in my head when things get bad. When it looks impossible, look deeper. And then fight like you can win.
You don't have to go on the mission. We'll find another way. I'll go. You said you'd try to protect me. I believe you. But you have to promise me one thing. Yes, of course. If it goes bad, if the Zeniths find us, I don't want to be their slave again. Do you understand? I promise. I promise. I could use as much time as you can give me to study up on the merge, to make it as efficient as possible. I'll be ready when you are. I swear. So that's good. She's back with confident. Aloy, whenever you are ready, come speak to me and I'll ask the others to make final preparations for the mission. Welcome back. Hello, Aloy. Hey, Gaia. So, uh, me and Beta, I guess you heard what happened. Yes. I am continuously impressed by the complexity of human relationships. Despite the unpleasant circumstances that led to your quarrel, I am pleased to see you have both found an agreeable resolution. Well, two heads are better than one, right? Yes, I believe so. Are you ready to depart for Cauldron Gemini? Or we can continue our conversation, if you like. How are things around here? Zo continues to monitor the status of her land gods. The receivers appear to be functioning properly. As a result, Plain Song should see a gradual increase in viable crop production. Good. It'll keep them from starving. At least until we fix the biosphere. So... about Beta. I never really saw the difference between us... until now. She's been through so much. Completely alone. You have both endured many hardships. Different in almost every respect. Yet equally remarkable. I like to think of you as two miracles, born of Elizabeth Sobek. Three, then. Let's not forget about you, Gaia. I'll be off. Farewell. I'm not interrupting. Not at all. I was just studying the pulse generator schematics. The ones Gaia and Beta built. <laughs> the craftsmanship is remarkable. Is everything all right? It sounded like there was an uh, issue with Beta and the mission. Not anymore. We just needed to talk some things through. Ta oh, and uh, if you have a moment, there's something I could use your help with. You mentioned there was something you needed help with? Yes. Uh, so, as I was sifting through data from the greenhouse, I found references to an old world system back in the Great Delta. 
It's called Leviathan. My people discovered it decades ago. A sprawling network of river gates and a labyrinth of underground tunnels. The legacy revealed that the old ones used it to control flooding. But we've never gotten it to work. The whole thing is shut down. But the data from the greenhouse mentions the research facility where Leviathan was created. It's in San Francisco. Another Pharaoh facility? No. Leviathan was a project by Eileen Sasaki, another ancestor. So the legacy tells us, anyway. If we can acquire that data, we might be able to fix the system back in the Great Delta. Every year, my sister gets terrified when the long rains begin. With Leviathan, maybe she won't have to be. Okay. So where in San Francisco is this facility? That's the thing. The data doesn't say where, exactly, but one of our diviners has been exploring the ruins. He might know. Would you come with me? I have a feeling that wherever this facility is, well, you're much better at fighting machines than I am. Of course. I'll let you know when I'm in landfall. Thank you, Aloy. I should go. Make sure you talk to Gaia if you have any questions about the pulse generators. May your path lead to truth. And, like I said, I'll let you know when I'm in landfall. We'll find the data you're after. I appreciate it. Aloy, may we speak? I have to go. For this landfall thing. Oh, it's here. So it's a fast travel, so that it reduces the time, and we can try to complete the game a bit more faster. Please, could you ancestor? Please, it's about my brother. I don't mean to disturb you, but I've run my request through every channel, and I've gotten nowhere. Just take me through it. Apologies. My name is Jomar. I'm the weapons officer for this expedition. It's my job to ensure the troops are armed and prepared for what's out there. And I've failed to do so. My younger brother, Oris, his unit was sent to scout the tower on the northern side of the island. They should have returned by now. The overseer has denied my request for a search party, and defying him would mean dismissal. Or worse. You think they might be alive? Horus has been obsessed with San Francisco ever since I can remember. He jumped at the chance to join this expedition. I have to believe that fate isn't cruel enough to make this place his tomb. If you help me, I'll get you access to any weapon in my stock. If I make my way up north, I'll look for your brother. Thank you. If it helps, my brother carried an ancestral relic with him. I believe your focus might be able to pick it up. What kind of relic? A small metal piece dangling from a chain with a hologram of San Francisco, which is why my brother always had it with him. The diviners speculated it was some kind of beacon inviting the ancestors to visit the city. Speculated? So there was data on it they couldn't read? It was deemed lost knowledge. If my brother truly is gone, could you maybe bring the relic back for me? It meant so much to Oris. I, I'd like to keep it safe for him. Of course. The souvenir, like seriously. Here you have lots of missions which I have just come across. Oh, did I get a new weapon? Oh, wow. A new weapon. Not that. I promise you, we'll find a way home. Harriam, we're never getting that gyro compass back. We're stuck here. For good. The ancestor reborn. May we be led to truth. 
Just... Aloy. What's this I hear about you never going back home? Our navigational ships... They're all gone. Destroyed by storms and reefs, and with them the one instrument we need to guide us across the ocean. There is one ship that might still hold a working gyro compass. But it's beyond our reach, beached on an island surrounded by deadly currents. No compass, no way home, no way back to those we should have never left behind in the first place. Christia. So you two are soldiers? Navigators, actually. I'm Harriam, and this is Christia. So you two know how to use this instrument? The gyro compass. Only I know how to read it. The Diviners trained me. So you can't navigate the fleet without each other? It is the Quen Wei. The greater the knowledge held by one person alone, the greater the risk it'll be used against the Empire should we be captured by our enemies. Your tribe sure is... cautious. You mentioned you left someone behind? My, uh, wife, Neandra. She works the field in the Great Delta. When I was chosen for this mission, she begged me not to come. She was scared I wouldn't return. And like always, she was right. I left without saying goodbye, and now I won't ever see her again. You said what you need is on a ship somewhere. Yes. The ship we were stationed on. The night we approached landfall, a sudden squall hit the fleet. While some ships managed to find safe harbor here, ours ran aground. The crew abandoned ship, hoping the ocean would spare us. I thought we'd drown for sure. Thank the ancestors, we somehow got washed up on a beach southwest of here. Scouts found us and brought us to landfall. Not that it matters. The only ship with the gyro compass is grounded and surrounded by deadly currents. So what is this gyro compass you're looking for? It's a device used by the ancestors to help pinpoint a ship's location. But it only works if the readings are compared to a chart. How'd you get your hands on something like that? I guess it's safe to tell you since you carry the gift of the ancestors. The diviners found them on ancient vessels back in our homeland and modified them so we could use them on our ships. Without them, we're at the mercy of the seas. Maybe I can help. Not unless you can fly. I can't do that. But if I find a way, I'll come back. She's an ancestor reborn. Maybe she really can help. I will not let myself hope just yet, but I thank you for your kindness. It's finally changed. I don't think I can get to that ship. At least, not now. Hey, Alva. I'm in landfall. Can you meet me here? I'll be there as soon as I can. Aloy! I'm here. I had to sneak past a few machines on the way, but I made it. All right. Ready to talk to that diviner? Yes. He's right over there. Diviner Alva! What are you doing back in Landfall? And with the living ancestor? We're looking for the Atbay Research Center, where Leviathan was developed. The legacy tells us it's somewhere in the city. Alva mentioned you've been collecting data in the area. Do you know where it is? Uh... Yes, I stumbled across it, but... There was no data there, only crumbling ruins. Tell us anyway. We might be able to find something you missed. Please, don't trouble yourself I, I, I sh assure you our search was very thorough mm, you're hiding something what that that is absurd a diviner must only speak truth as you're well aware oh you're worried you found something dangerous something compromising on Eileen Sasaki keep your voice down look I get it Nerik you want to make it back to your family, so it's safer to turn a blind eye. But think of Leviathan. How it could help everyone. Isn't that why we're here? Don't let fear deny us that. Very well. 
The facility's just south of here, along the shore. But even if you find a way to fix Leviathan, it's sure to be shrouded in that which is forbidden. Too often, the truth is forbidden. Seems interesting. Come on, let's go. Let's see what do we have to do now. Not bad with that diviner back there. You've come a long way since we first met. I'm near excellent I used to be. To the side of a misstep. And with the overseers, he has every right to be. But what I've seen and learned since the greenhouse, uh, it's so much more than what we're permitted. Diviners are supposed to seek the truth, and yet so much is kept from us. I'm tired of it. That should be the facility ahead. We need to find a way in. Up here. Well, Amiric wasn't lying about crumbling ruins, at least. Let's look around. the ground shaking that's not good whatever it is whoa that that thing is huge we'll have to take it out if we want to find that thing uh okay i'm with you okay chain reaction rest resource usable weapon i don't want
plasma. Bye. Down it goes. We should get going. Whew. Well, I'm gonna have nightmares tonight. We should be able to look around for that data now. Oh, there are so many things on this island. Follow you there. After you. After you. First one. Look at this place. I always try to imagine what it must have been like back when the old ones were here. It's less of a climb, I bet. Come on, let's check the upper floors. You okay? On every expedition, the soldiers would lay down walkways and barriers to protect us diviners. But this is actually kind of fun. There, the console. Must have been what Nerik found. The data on Leviathan isn't here, but there's some kind of log. Delete the database? But Miss Suzaki, when you look at the reports, 3,000 exhibiting symptoms, over 400 dead. The data's clear. Omarama is contaminating the water supply, promoting bacterial growth. And with Leviathan based on the same architecture... You're a smart kid. Top of your class, right? My father built this company thanks to world-class talent like you. And you know what else is world-class? Our legal team. So unless you want to spend the rest of your career in some dead-end, underfunded public research institute, you'll delete that database and forward all data on Leviathan to my office. Yes, ma'am. That was her. The ancestor. Eileen Sasaki. Hundreds dead. And she knew their system was to blame, but she had the truth erased. Were all the ancestors like this? Selfish, ruthless, immoral? And yet we hold them up as paragons of enlightenment and virtue. Given what we've learned, I don't even know if Leviathan will work. Hold on. Let's not give up just yet. You said before that the Old Ones use Leviathan to control flooding. Which means... it probably worked. We'll know more when we find the data on it. The recording mentioned a copy was sent to Eileen's office. To their corporate headquarters. Uh, there.
Let's go. It shouldn't take us long to get to the tower. Lead on. So what was that other system recording? Omu Ramba? The legacy told us it was the predecessor to Leviathan, a system that manipulated bloods to bring life to a barren desert. Quinn seemed to know a lot about this ancestor. Diviners spent years trying to figure out how to restore Leviathan. We found a lot of data on Irene Sasaki in the process. Though. So, now I wonder how much of it is actually true. Entrance is blocked. Gonna have to find another way in. The soldiers built a path on the nearby ruin. Might be able to cross over from there. Lead the way. Quick savior. Oh, a drone. Frost won't help here. Machine was born for the cold. Moon talk. I think this is as far as our soldiers got. We'll have to climb higher to get into the tower. I'll follow your lead. Up we go! <laughs> going to get across. Well, that beam looks promising. Uh, this is a lot higher up than I thought.
climb up. Glenn talks. I only have the element of surprise. Or we could sneak by and, you know, not fall off the tower. Frost ammo's not gonna do much. Up this way. You can do it, Alva, okay? Just don't look down. Right! <laughs> of course! Super easy! There's the tower. You can do it. It's okay. Please don't break. Says the code is the month and year the company was found. All oh, doors locked. Huh. This says the code is the month and year the company was founded. According to the legacy. It was October 2023. So let's try. So the company was founded in October. Which is the tenth month of the year. Got it. Door should be unlocked now. Maybe the data on Leviathan isn't here. Cost reduction strategy? We're talking about people's lives here. I did as you asked on Omuramba, but this is... worse. Relax, Eileen. I've spoken with risk management. They're confident that the chance of another incident is within acceptable parameters. We're moving ahead with Leviathan. You know, Dad... Shortcuts have a way of catching up with you. Within acceptable parameters or not. 
Well, one day in the distant future when you're in charge, you can run things how you want. But until then, how about you let me worry about that? Guess Eileen and her father didn't always get along. But it seems like covering up Omurambo wasn't her idea. Doesn't matter. She still had a part in it. Well, let's keep going. Her office must be higher up. Uh, dead end. There's a ladder in that shaft, but it's blocked. I might be able to pull the rubble out from the other shaft. Let's see where this leads. Uh, you go on ahead. I'll look for a way up that has a lesser chance of falling to my death. Okay. Hey, Alva? Yes? There's something I don't get. You said Eileen was the one who built Leviathan, not her father, so... What happened? I'm not sure. The legacy doesn't say. Either that knowledge is lost, or... forbidden. Or maybe we were wrong about that, too. <laughs> Sort of climbing here, but yeah, it's fun. Are you doing okay, Aloy? Yeah, it's just a long way up. Ugh. Dead end. There's a ladder in that shaft, but it's blocked. I might be able to pull the rubble out from the other shaft. Let's see where this leads. Uh, you go on ahead. I'll look for a way up that has a lesser chance of falling. Okay. Hey, Alva? Yes? There's something I don't get. You said Eileen was the one who built Leviathan, not her father, so... What happened? I'm not sure. The legacy doesn't say. Either that knowledge is lost, or... forbidden. Or maybe we were wrong about that, too. Huh? Are you doing okay, Aloy? Yeah, it's just a long way up. I can manage that. How to get up higher.
How about you, Alva? Any luck finding a way up? Not yet. Well, it was a very interesting Ooh. way to come up. That's done with. Okay, I'm back at the shafts. If I blow up that fire beam, the elevator might fall and open up a path for Alva. Hey, uh, Alva? Step away from the shaft. Whoa! Oh! I can reach the ladder now! Uh, be right up, Aloy! Looks like there's another floor above. Might be Eileen's office. Okay, I'll meet you up there. was on the way. Made it! Let's see what's up here. Let's do another quick save, because we don't know what's uh, up. Another locked door. Need to figure out the passcode. These artifacts... I... I think these were Eileen's. It's every diviner's dream to discover even one of the ancestors' artifacts. And maybe they'll help with the door. Maybe we should take a look at the artifacts. Could use my focus here. Oh, that must be the Larson Macquarie Award. The legacy says Eileen won it when she was 40 for her work on Leviathan. Interesting. This looks like some kind of prototype. For water purification. Must be the H2 flow. Uh, what? H2 flow. Their early inventions had strange names. It's art, I think. Could it be? Yes, I think this was commissioned in honor of the company's 25th anniversary. That must be the Dragonfly 6. Ape used it in most of their construction projects. The Dragonfly 6 was their most successful model. Huh. That didn't do anything. I thought that would have worked. Did we overlook something? Check what my focus sees, maybe. What was this called again? The Dragonfly 6. What did you say this was for again? The company's 25th anniversary. Looks like it used to be on the last pedestal. All the numbers you mentioned. I wonder if they make up the passcode. What was this thing again? Yeah, it's worth the H2 flow. Yeah, it's worth a try. How old was Eileen when she won this award? 40. Not quite right. The two artifacts on the ground. Maybe they used to be on opposite pedestals. That did it! You can almost see the whole city from up here. Corner office. Impressive view. But it must have been Eileen's. Let's see if the data on Leviathan is here. Eileen Sasaki, CEO, chair, and worst daughter in the world. 
Security had to escort Dad to his vert. Guess we'll be speaking through lawyers from now on. Looking down at the world from here. It's hard to see the details. People become risk factors. Statistics. <laughs> Far too easily. Omuramba was supposed to provide clean water. Improve lives. It was easier to pretend there wasn't a problem. Easier to believe. The lie was truth. But I don't want to pretend anymore. I will build Leviathan right. No more shortcuts. No more lying just to save face. It won't undo our sins. My sins. But maybe we can still do some good. She overthrew her father. Uh, took over the company, so that Leviathan wouldn't end up killing people. It sounded like she regretted covering up Omuramba's failure. She wasn't perfect. Not a paragon, as the Quan believe. But not a monster, either. She tried to make up for her mistakes. And now you know the truth. Uh, as for the data... <laughs> Leviathan... Yes, uh, it's here. Downloading a copy now. Is something wrong? I think I'll stay here a while longer. There's a lot more data that I want to look through. Are you sure you'll be okay on your own? Down is always easier than up. Let's speak again when we're back at base. Okay, I'll see you there. Well, after climbing all the way up, why not glide down? Wait, you're going to what? Just thinking about it.